Yes, they absolutely do. So there's certain firms like have never really done that. So you certainly have never heard of Cravath or Sullivan Cromwell. Sullivan Cromwell went off staff, but not associates. You've never heard of Patel, Simpson Thatcher, or, or Davis Polk. A firm that used to be kind of part of that group was Sherman and Sterling. In 2001, they let off a bunch of people, and Sherman and Sterling is a great firm, but they suffered huge reputational harm, and people still remember it because you took this firm that was almost unassailable and suddenly was laying people off and in terms of this great reputation and did that. So firms do suffer a lot of reputational harm when they do it. And it becomes from the kind of the pinnacle where you go and you're going to be safe to a place where all bets are off. I'm not saying that I think any differently of that firm, but it's just what happened in terms of its reputation. We're talking about 20 plus years ago this happened. And so, yes, they do suffer a lot of problems and then their brands suffer in the eyes of attorneys. 